happy holiday girl. Who says you have to wait until certain times of the year to get to celebrate? When every day's a holiday, we can combat stress and have more opportunities to have fun with our friends and family. Come celebrate with me and together we can live a holiday life. Hey, what's going on holiday lifers? It's your girl Gabby and today is National Bubble Bath Day, a day completely dedicated toward living the luxurious life and lounging in the tub for at least as long as you can before your kids come pounding on the door and ruin your luxurious experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been there. You try to get a moment of peace in the restroom and little fingers appear underneath the door. <laughs> Nevertheless, take some time out, mom and dad, to live a peaceful life for as long as you can in the bathtub today. But if you don't get the chance to be by yourself, have some fun, add a ton of bubbles in your kids' bubble bath today, and let them play. Fam, today's podcast is fairly straightforward. Enjoy a day in the bathtub. So instead of talking your ears off about bathtubs, I thought I would join in my trivia podcast into my holiday life podcast and give you all something else fun to do for today. Here are my five trivia questions for the day. See if you can get three or more out of the five trivia questions correct. If you do, maybe just maybe you'll earn yourself a little bit of bath time today. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the podcast. If you are following along with my activities calendar, which you can get from my Facebook page at A Holiday Life and also at Holiday Trivia, you will find all the holiday activities for this weekend. Tomorrow is January 9th. It will be National Word Nerd Day as well as National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. And Sunday, January 10th is National Cut Your Energy Cost Day and National House Plant Appreciation Day. For both of those days, as well as all of the rest of the holidays in the month of January, I have four activity sheets that I've created for you all. I have a coloring sheet, a maze, word search, and word scramble sheets. So if you need something fun to do this weekend with your kids, or if you have a little bit of alone time by yourself in that bathtub, you can print off the activities and have some fun. So I won't delay any further. Here are my holiday trivia questions for today. I'll talk to you guys again on Monday. Question number one is a world culture question. In what country did bobbleheads originate? Was it A, England, B, France, C, Germany, or D, Korea? Once again, in what country did bobbleheads originate? A, England, B, France, C, Germany, or D, Korea? And the answer is C, Germany. YesBubbleheads.com says bobbleheads originated from the string dolls in Japan and China. The actual first bobblehead was made in Germany. But the first bobblehead reference can be found in a Russian short story, The Overcoat by Gogol. In it, one of the characters is described to look like a bobblehead. The bobblehead first went into production between the late 1700s and early 1800s. Literally, the bobblehead is from just about everywhere, guys, but the first ones were created in Germany. On to question number two, it's a sports question. What American sports team has done the most bobblehead-related promotions? Is it A, the San Francisco Giants, B, the Dallas Cowboys, C, the Los Angeles Dodgers, or D, the New York Giants. Well, once again, what American sports team has done the most bobblehead-related promotions? Is it A, the San Francisco Giants, B, the Dallas Cowboys, C, the Los Angeles Dodgers, or D, the New York Giants? And the answer is A, the San Francisco Giants. Decades.com says that there have been over 300 bobblehead promotions nationwide, but almost a third of them have been done by the San Francisco Giants. They've done more than 75. In fact, it's believed that the team's 1999 giveaway of Willie Mays bobbleheads contributed to their resurgence. Do you guys have any bobbleheads? I, I don't think I have a bobblehead, but I do have a Dodgers gnome that stays in my parents' house. Uh, it's traveled from room to room. It stays in the living room and sometimes it's outside in the garden. So my kids like to play with it. It's kind of a cute little 
household friend. <laughs> and now it's time for our fun fact of the day. Did you know that a pair of Chinese bobbleheads sold for $36,000? They were a husband and wife bobblehead pair that were created in China in the early 1800s. Wow. Head on over to my sister podcast, A Holiday Life, for more information about today's holiday and become a holiday lifer. I also have a website, aholidaylife.com, where I give out a free monthly activity calendar full of fun activities for each holiday. So head on over to aholidaylife.com now for more podcast and free fun. Question number three is a movie question. Which actress is featured in the movie The Seven Year Itch that features an icy cold bubble bath scene? Is it A. Elizabeth Taylor, B. Marilyn Monroe, C. Elizabeth Burton, or D. Julia Roberts? Once again, which actress is featured in the movie The Seven Year Itch that features an icy cold bubble bath scene? Is it A. Elizabeth Taylor, B. Marilyn Monroe, C. Elizabeth Burton, or D. Julia Roberts? And the answer is B. Marilyn Monroe. Wellandgood.com says that in the seven year itch, Marilyn Monroe treats her icy bath time as a way to cool off from the sweltering New York City summer heat. Ice baths also happen to speed up muscle recovery time, which is why they tend to be a post game go to for athletes. Question number four is a sports question. What was the first sports organization to produce a bobblehead figure in American culture? Was it A. The NFL? B, the MLB, C, the NBA, or D, the USTA. Once again, what was the first sports organization to produce a bobblehead figure in American culture? Was it A, the NFL, B, the MLB, C, the NBA, or D, the USTA? And the answer is C, the NBA. It's actually pretty interesting considering a baseball team produces the most bobbleheads, but Decades.com reports while bobblehead athletes are most popular in Major League Baseball, the first sports bobblehead was created featuring a generic basketball player. While some collectors claim it was for the New York Knicks, others are doubtful because the team wasn't officially established until 1946. And on to question number five, our last question of the day. It's a movie question. In all of these iconic films, a bubble bath scene is featured at some point in the movie. Which of these movies shows a woman bathing in her wedding veil? Is it A, The Notebook, B, The Seven Year Itch, C, Cleopatra, or D, Pretty Woman? Once again, in all of these iconic films, a bubble bath scene is featured at some point in the movie. Which of these movies shows a woman bathing in her wedding veil? Is it A, The Notebook, B, The Seven Year Itch, C, Cleopatra, or D, Pretty Woman? And the answer is A, The Notebook. Wellandgood.com says, after Allie sees a picture of her lost love Noah in the newspaper during a wedding dress fitting, she faints and takes to the bath in an attempt to make herself feel better. Post-breakup self-care is majorly important, and the fact that Allie still has her veil on while she bathes just might make this the most glamorous moment in self-care history." End quote. So, how did you do? Did you get three or more out of today's five trivia questions correct? If so, I think you are a holiday trivia pro. Send me a message so you can be a contestant on my next trivia episode. <laughs> if you like today's podcast and want more daily trivia, subscribe to Holiday Trivia on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcast from. I have new podcasts released daily filled with new holiday trivia. For more ways to celebrate the holiday of the day, head on over to my sister podcast, A Holiday Life. 
You can follow the trivia more by following me on social media by using at Holiday Trivia on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, and by using at Holiday underscore Trivia on Twitter. I hope you continue to enjoy the holidays, stay safe, and live a holiday life. I'll talk to you on Monday.